Well, if you want to trace around an object like this, here's how I would approach it. I would click wherever you see a transition from one curve to the next. So in this case, obviously this curve down here changes into that one, and it happens right there, doesn't it? That's where I'd click. Then, if you need a straight line, just let go, and then click where you need the end of the straight line to be. If, on the other hand, you need a curve, drag, like this. And what you want to do is get these little handles that come out to point in the exact direction that this shape travels in when we go, in this case, counterclockwise around it. Just think and imagine you're an ant and you're standing on top of this dot. What direction would you take your very first step in if you were to trace around this object going clockwise? You're just going to walk around it. I wouldn't walk up that way. I wouldn't go this way. I would go almost exactly like that with my very first step. Then I look for where does this curve change into a different shape. It comes around here. It's pretty consistent. Maybe it changes right about here. Click. And if you need a smooth curve, pull out those handles. This time, think about the handle that's not where my mouse is. It's the one pointing the other way. And if you're an ant walking around this shape and you bumped into this dot right here, what direction would you be walking in when you encountered it? Would you be walking down like that? Would you be walking up like that? Or would you be walking more like about there? You need to get it just the direction that this edge is coming in right when it hits this. The other side that comes out here should be pointing in the direction that you would travel when you leave. And I think that's approximately right. You keep going and this curve comes around here and right about there it might start changing. So you click again, pull out those handles, and continue this process wherever you see, think the curve changes, get in the handles where you need them. Like this. Then at this point, we run into a new issue, and that is when I leave this point, I would not continue walking down. I would walk up that way, wouldn't I? So I need this handle to point in the other direction, and to do that, we need to access this little arrow tool. You could click on this arrow tool, come over here and move it, but instead, I usually use a keyboard shortcut. I hold on the command key, that's control and windows. That gives you this arrow tool temporarily. The problem is if I grab this, watch what happens when I move it. Do you see the other side move too? I'll choose undo. I need this side to move independently. In order to do that, we need to access this tool here. That lets one side become independent of the other, but I never actually go to that tool. I instead hold down the option key, which is Alt and Windows. All that tool does is let me get this side independent of the other. If I did it a second time, it would usually become dependent again. But for now, I'm just that. And I'm going to continue with the same process we did, where I click where I think the curve changes, and I put out these little handles wherever I think there's a transition in that curve. I do that, and if I do that, I have all that I need to precisely select this. When I click right where I uh, started to finish this, it doesn't quite look right. This isn't going in the right direction, and that's because if I came in here, the little handles uh, this one doesn't point up the right direction. So I would have to, again, go to that tool that allows me to move one side independent of the other. It's the option key. It gives me that. And I can get that. So now I have almost all that I need to select this. I have the dots in the right positions. I have these little handles coming out. They're all pointing in the exact right direction. I figure out the direction they need to go in, thinking about an ant walking across. And what direction would the ant be walking in when it encounters a point and when it leaves? That tells me the angles. I have one final thing to make this match up, and that is that little arrow tool. There is a preference for the arrow tool I need to change. I only need to change it once. Uh, if you go to the arrow tool at the top of your screen, there's a setting up here. Constrain path dragging. That's a feature that Adobe added. Uh, they changed the way the pen tool worked. The pen tool had worked the same way for darn near 20 years, and they decided to change it. Turning that on gets it back to working the old way. You only have to change that once. I'll actually go back to the pen tool because I usually stay in the pen tool the entire time. Now I'm going to hold down the command key on my keyboard. I'll click on the line itself, and I'll pull on it. 
and I just move it out to where it needs to go, meaning out near the edge of the shape. 